All right, guys, once again, we're at it again. We're looking at part five of our chapter. We're going to be talking about something called Power and Ohm's Law. That's where we're going to be starting at. So a couple of things that we're going to try to do here is, is we're going to try to real quick review some concepts and stuff. Um, so my apologies here. I'm getting my information ready. Now, um, power from what we started out with a while ago had a couple of pieces of information. Now, power could be evaluated in the fact that power is equal to some amount of energy divided by the quantity of time. So that was joules per second, which gave us a unit of watts. Now, one of the things that uh, we notice that here, that um, this quantity here of energy is directly related to our voltage, because our voltage is directly related to the potential energy per unit charge. So we can actually do a little bit of substitution in here, and we can actually learn that power in electricity is equal to the current. Now remember, current is in amps times our voltage or potential difference, which is measured in volts. Okay, and the unit is always going to be watts. Okay, so that's a couple of things that we're going to deal with. We're going to take a look at a couple of examples. Okay, guys, um, you know, number one, let's say, let's say we've got a hot plate, and our hot plate uses 10,000 joules of energy in five seconds. What's the power rating of that? Well, power is equal to energy divided by time. Now, if we did our circle, okay, if we did our circle, E would be on top, then PT. So we're going to solve out for that. So we're going to work with that right now. So that's going to be 10,000 divided by five. Okay. So, oh, I just went brain dead. That would be 2,000 watts okay now let's say they gave us up um, they gave us a hair dryer that's 1500 watts so how much energy can it do okay now that's just it so if we have um, we have a power rating on a on a on a hair dryer of 1500 watts it means it can do how many joules of work can it do every second Okay, so let's take a look. Now, every second, that means in one second. Okay, so our 1,500 watts will go where our power is. Our joules is our question mark. Our one is our bottom. So we have 1,500 equals J over top of one. So we cross multiply. So 1,500 joules. Now, how would we tools that we just discussed and how would we say that, that that was one minute? Well, that would be a pretty straightforward concept. We would just take the 1500 and we would multiply it by 60 seconds that are in a minute. Okay? So when we look at that, that's a lot of energy. Okay? No, no offense, but that's quite a bit of energy. I'm not going to calculate that for you. You can do the multiplication. You're going to come up with a big number. All right? Now, um... So we have a lot of concepts like this. And what we're going to have to deal with and be careful with is conversion of time. Now, don't forget, sometimes they're going to give you information and you're going to have to work around a little bit, okay? Um, you know, what, what, if, what if we're dealing with something like this? Uh, say, you know, they gave me the current is equal to 2 amps flowing through a resistor of 2,700 amps ohms and then it says what's what's they're going to ask me some questions what's the voltage okay so voltage is equal to i times r so we can work that out right now how will we find the power rating well now we're going to have to use the information we found from there our voltage okay we can do it that way or there's something super special that we can deal with and we're going to talk with now range and rework with that power function that and the reason we can do this is is we have this v equals ir right 
So I can replace that V with an I, R. So that would be this. So another formula we could use is I squared R. Okay? Now, we could rearrange this again. Okay? And come up with an even method. So let's say we've got our P equals IV again. We got V equals IR. So we substituted in for the V this time. So I equals V divided by R. So P equals V squared divided by R would be an alternative method. So that way you can develop an equation out of any of those that you want to try to rearrange and solve for things, okay? So be careful on this next set of problems. Just pay attention to what you're doing.